What is going on, comic book movie fans? My name is Jonathan. This is Comic Book Cinema. And today, we're going to discuss the curious case of Morbius. Never before in recent memory can I remember anything like this happening before. A viral social media campaign that was created by the fans, but it wasn't created out of a good place. For lack of a better term, it was created facetiously. The whole premise, the basic concept of this idea was the fans were making fun of Morbius. They were saying things like, oh, Morbius is the best movie of all time. Or, it's Morbin time. That went viral. I don't really get all this hype behind Morbius right now. And people started using the word morb in these various different types of puns. I think somebody wished me happy Memorial Day on TikTok. So the whole thing got way out of hand. To the point where if you challenge these people on TikTok, Instagram, any types of social media, they would stand up for this film like it was the best superhero movie ever made. It was really quite odd, honestly. And then it makes you start to wonder, do some of these people actually believe that, that Morbius is a decent movie? I remember I was taken aback. The first time that I saw propaganda like this, I think it was on Instagram, and I was doing my thing. You know, I, I talk crap about comic book movies, the ones that I don't like. I'm a very opinionated comic book movie fan, so I have some opinions that rub people the wrong way. But me talking crap about Morbius, I mean, that seemed like a win-win, right? This was right on the cusp of the Morbin time and this phenomenon that started. And this guy was arguing with me on social media pretty, pretty intensely. And it wasn't until a couple days later that my old self caught on to what was actually going on. But that's the thing. Sony, for whatever reason, didn't quite catch on. Even Jared Leto, bless his heart, did not catch on. What are you reading? Uh, nothing. Nothing really. Just, uh... What are you reading? Oh, well. This social media campaign had Sony on fire. They were thinking, man, we got... We really got something on our hands here. Do you see how the fans are reacting to our movie? Maybe we should bring this thing back to theaters. And that, unfortunately, was one of the biggest mistakes they ever made. Because Morbius has now made history, ladies and gentlemen. It is the first movie ever in history to bomb twice at the box office. And the funny thing is, now there's actually a petition on change.org with 8,000 plus signatures at this point, where fans are asking them to bring Morbius back to theaters for a third time. And their main point of contention was that, oh, Sony, we were busy that weekend. This, none of this is a joke. Like, this is all serious stuff, guys. And it's such a curious case. I think that's why the title for this video is so fitting because we've never seen anything like this before. And I don't think we'll ever see anything like this ever again. I would strongly advise Sony not to bring Morbius back to theaters for a third time because it's just gonna be a waste of money and a waste of resources. By the way, when they brought it back for the second time, the film averaged $80. $80 per theater. That's sad, folks. That's really sad. Because they opened in a thousand theaters and they only made like $82,000. So yeah, how did an inside joke like this catch fire so quickly? What started it all? Well, I'm glad you asked. This right here is what started this Morbius phenomenon. And from there, it just got out of control super fast. With all that being said, what do you guys think? Do you think that Sony should bring Morbius back to theaters for a third time? Do you think that Sony should make a sequel to this garbage heap of a film? Let us know what you think down in the comments. If you haven't already, make sure you like, share, and subscribe. Check us out on TikTok and Instagram at Real Comic Book Cinema. You can also find us on Facebook. Until next time, folks, have a Morbius day.